Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Hi, good evening, teacher. Hello, my dear, how are you? Um, I am driving yet uh, to my still. home, teacher. Still? Yeah, All I'm right. still I'm, driving. I'm still driving, that's right. Be careful. Thank you so much. All right. Good evening, good evening, Fernando. Good evening, everybody. Well, I see some people reporting themselves on the chat, which is really great. The rest, good evening, good evening. Well, I think we're gonna give a couple of more minutes for the rest to get connected so that they don't miss the activities for tonight. And I hope everybody's fine, everybody's okay. Did you have a good day? Let me look for the attendance list. In the meantime, goodness, my glasses are dirty. I think much better now. All right. Well, it seems that no more people are getting connected tonight on this session. And let's see. I think it's going to be an easy task taking attendance. Let's just see eight people. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope you have studied, you have practiced a little bit. And tonight we are ready to start our new session. Well, let's see. It would be this one. And of course, today is Tuesday, right? Is it the 3rd of October? So this is our session number seven, actually. These are the reminders for the upper peak behavior in attendance in this course. I hope you all take notes and note it, all right? So we are on the unit two. Actually, the lesson for today is, is a little bit intended to review the structure, the vocabulary we just started yesterday. Okay. Let me see. All right, before anything else, let's have the attendance because of the right way to proceed. Start with um, Abigail, Elizabeth. Present teacher. Hello. Atilio Ernesto Castillo. 
Oh, this people from Nahuatlapan are probably still working. Elizabeth and Stephanie. Good evening. Hi, good, good evening. evening. Welcome. Emerson Alexander. Fernando Jose. Good evening. Good evening. Francisco Ernesto. Apparently, Francisco is not here. Hazel Vanessa. Mm, I don't see her. Juan Antonio. Not here. Julissa. Mm -hmm. Carla Ivania. Present teacher. Good evening. Thank you. Please, Javier. Please, Javier. Not here. Please, Miguel. Neither Nora. Magdiel Saúl. Present. Thank Present you. teacher. Hello. Manuel Alexander. Not here. Marilyn. Present. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Mario Ernesto. Present. Hello, good evening. Roberto Saúl. Not here. Ronald Alexander. Victor Noel. Vidal. Present teacher. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Buen día. Not yet. Okay, great. Now, I see some people are still getting connected. Well, nice. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? All good? All fine? All fine, teacher. Nice. Not raining? Yes, I'm driving. You're driving. You're still driving. But it's not yes, raining. I but Sorry? it's not raining. No. Thank God. Yeah. Because lately it's been raining a lot. A lot, a lot. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyone else I didn't mention? Oh, no, Carlos Alberto, right? Sorry, teacher. Yes. Hello. Luis Miguel, I didn't mention you either. Hi. Okay. How many? Oh, good evening. Adilio, good evening. True, true, oh. true. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. That's my neighbor's dog. Not even mine, because mine's not that noisy. Oh my God. Wait a second. My dog is doing something wrong. Totally. Wait. All right. Anyone else that just incorporated and I get a mention? Or you didn't listen uh, to your name? Hi. Meet, meet the George. Good evening. Oh, no. Good evening. Everything good? Everything okay? Yes. All right. Uh, perfect. Yes. I, I, just, I just entered into the class. I don't know if you mentioned me before. Yeah, I must. 
I must have mentioned your name, but yeah, in yeah, in a, some minutes ago, probably. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. As we were mentioning at the beginning, um, this class, because of the Oh my God. Because of the the way they have been distributed, we are going to do a review. We're going to kind of practice the vocabulary that we introduced yesterday from the second unit. And all this unit is going to be about logistics. And the first lesson was about the relevance, the importance of the seven arts. Hmm, maybe you're not that related with logistics. Neither am I. You know, I just, <laughs> I'm just a teacher. I, I've just been working in teaching area, but I, I mean, I got the idea of what this is about, or at least the vocabulary, but I don't have experience working in logistics because I think <laughs> the close as I've been to that it's uh ordering food on delivery apps right but I do know there are some huge companies that work on logistics because I told it yesterday that I have four minute students and I'll work for Crowley. I found the web page of Crowley and of course you can check it out it's in, in Spanish and, and it's in English as well. I mean, to improve, to increase your vocabulary, to have an idea what the, I mean, the logistic companies are dedicated to. Definitely they transport, they move a lot of material, raw material, goods, uh, oil, all over. At least this company moves it in North America, I guess the United States, Mexico, the Caribbean and Central America. So imagine. And the seminars which are fundamentals right and of course on this first slide i just want you to recall what the seven r's mean okay of course they make sense in english because in spanish i don't know if they are called the seven r's because then i mean the word wouldn't it start with the letter r if you say the right price, the right time, okay? And try to define a little bit of each of them, right? So anybody who remembers the seven R? Mm -hmm. I just mentioned a couple of them. Or maybe you took notes or you took a screenshots. You can check them up. Mm -hmm. Which are the seven R? Right product. Right product. Right place. Right place. Right customer. Right customer. Right price. Right price. Exactly. Right time. Right time. Right condition. Right condition. Right customer. Right customer. And right quantity. Right quantity. Uh huh. Actually, I think it's not that difficult to remember, right? So the letter R definitely represents right, correct, no wrong, right? So the idea is for you to describe a little bit of what the right product means in logistic, in transporting, right? From the producer, from the retailers, okay? To wh whomever is this goods or this product being delivered or being moved or being transported, right? Okay, I think it's easier if we think about 
something that is, let's say, moved locally. Probably we're, I mean, in El Salvador, we produce some goods. It's, it's still good to know that we still produce something, right? Because it's unavoidable that we need goods to feed people, right? Or to create life conditions. For example, um, I don't know if you're familiar with, but there are a lot of farms that produce chicken, eggs, meat, pork, right? So there are some farms and they all need to transport this, let's say, food, <laughs> because I, I guess at this time it's already food, even if they are just transporting the animals alive. Well, it depends. I think sometimes uh, they they are transporting the the product already, the product itself already. So think about it locally, okay, in El Salvador. Let's say there is a farm of chickens and eggs in San Vicente or in Usulután. And they have to distribute or transport these goods to supermarkets and markets all over the country, all over El Salvador. Okay, so think about what will be the right price, the right time, right, the right place, the right product, the right customer. So think about it. Try to to give some meaning to this because if we think about yeah El Salvador you see there's a lot of traffic there's a lot of things moving oh like every day at all the time but I think this type of transportation like the big trucks the big trailers they also have a schedule to transport right this kids so think about how to give a meaning to the seven R's. All right, so I will, hold on. I would just go back. Mm -hmm. And let's remember what we discussed about the seven R's yesterday. I think it's practically, understandable and there is not much we can say so now we can just give an example right so this example i just mentioned it's hypothetical but it might exist so you can do your research okay and investigate about other type of products that are transported okay that use this type of logistic to be moved Okay, from one place to another. All right, I'm going to give you some time to think about an example and then probably express it here. All right, I'll give you a couple of minutes, like two or three minutes.
All right. Anyone would like to provide an example? Or we shall use, shall we use the wheel? Let's see. And the winner is we don't have one Antonio, right? Well, he has never connected, actually. Marilyn Alejandra Grande Pérez. It's your turn. Mm -hmm. All right, Marilyn says she's not available. Manuel Alexander Vasquez. Is Manuel here? Apparently, no. Ronald. Uh, what is the question, sir? Any product that you think it's transported or used logistics here that is produced here in the country? Uh, that is produced here in the country? Yes. I think that uh, this uh, uh, food, uh, like um, uh, bimbo, I think that is a, a production plant here in El Salvador. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. they have to use logistics uh, to the uh, to the retailer or the corporate clients and some other uh, other uh, dis uh, do distribution to to um, how do you say the little stores the like tiendas. Uh -huh, small small stores, small shops. So, small shops. Small mm -hmm. business. Um... Okay, and how do they apply the seven Rs? Um, the seven Rs, for, mm -hmm. uh, for example, I think that to uh, because the because the nature of the products they have the the right time is important for them mm -hmm. uh, because it could it could be a, a product that I will not be able to consume if if they have a a delay the the right condition too mm -hmm. uh the right condition the right quantity because they because they have standards measures of mm -hmm. what how many quantity is in every is in every package of of, of bread or product mm -hmm. uh, the right condition the right time the right um uh, the right quantity uh, and i think that the, maybe the um, the right uh the right the right price and the right consumer consumer because it's is different uh the the maybe they have uh negotiations with big clients for example and and different and different terms of negotiation uh for example if they sell their products uh at a, at a wholesaler like uh like supermarkets is mm -hmm. different the condition of the negotiation uh, and the difference with a corporate client to a to a consumer excellent very good actually you mentioned something very very relevant in the 
the whole logistic of transporting bread. Definitely, the conditions are important. The temperature, the space, the craters, the boxes, right? The quantity, because they're not going to produce huge quantities if bread in a couple of days gets expired, right? The, it gets, I mean, the quality starts getting damaged or start getting rotten or soiled. So that's that's a good example, actually. All right, we're going to choose someone else. Oh, Francisco Ernesto. Is Francisco Ernesto available? No. Hey, so. Hazel Vanessa? Neither. Luis Javier? Neither, nor. Roberto is out? Shine bright like a diamond. Oh, Francis Ernesto again. Art Livanian? Gone. <laughs> it's you again. <laughs> oh my goodness. Carlos Alberto? Well, it makes no sense to be choosing people if no one is going to participate. Anyways, I bet you already know the policies of this course anyways. Okay. Let's go on. Well, definitely I have some exercises uh, regarding logistic customers, delivery, and all these concepts related to logistics, right? And the seven art. Well, I'm going to stop sharing here and I'm going to show you um, a link where we are going to solve these exercises related to jobs in logistics, right? I think, give me a second. Yeah, I think we're going to have to work on this exercise first and then we're going to compare with a partner, okay? So on first uh, stage of the exercise, you're gonna be working on your own and then you're going to compare if you have similar or different answers or right, with your partner. Give me one second, just need to copy this link and paste it. Yeah, I'm gonna put it here in the chat. And let me know if you were able to open it. It has audio, so make sure that the audio works perfectly.
Okay, could you open the link? Could you listen to the audience? Yes? Great, thank you. Sir. That's awesome. I appreciate it.
Well, I think you already finished, right? So it's time that you compare your answers with your partners. My partners, anyone complete the exercise? At least the, the listening. Uh, yes, I completed, but uh, none of them are correct. Uh, and what about you? The same, not all the ones are correct. Okay. But and I think that maybe because the I wrote it wrong. I don't know. But if you want, we can start to read them. Okay. The first one is my job is to organize the transport of wood either by sea, air, road, or rail. Yes, right. The second one is an important part of the job is dealing with customer requests about the most suitable motor mode of transport. Yes. Number three is my responsibilities also include negotiation with shipping rate with shipping lines and transport companies. Okay. The number four, I I have it wrong. I I, I but I also make customs clearance on behalf of, of my clients, but it's, but it's wrong. What, what uh, do you put? I, I also make. Uh, it is, I arrange customs clearance on behalf of my clients. Arrange, yes. okay. Me too. Arrange. Arrange, okay. Number five is, with the person too. In my job, I had to make sure that the cargo is not damaged on board the ship or while loading or on unloading. And number yes. six, I That's got right. one. I, I, also ha I, I also have it wrong. I, I put, I advise, uh -huh. but, I, but I, put, I, I put it with C. And maybe it's with us advice. Uh, I don't it, think I think it, it, it could be. But I'm not sure. I should. Yes, is with with S. With S. Oh, okay. 
And number seven is another part of my job is to consolidate with departments such as transport and production. But, okay. I, but, I, but I don't know is consolidate. Everyone has that consolidate. You, you, you have it wrong or, or right? I have it wrong. Okay, I, I have it wrong, but I put liais. I, I, I remember listening something uh -huh. with liais, yeah, that, but... That word was I put liais, but I also have it wrong. I don't... I, I can listen. I can understand. I can understand what they say. In the it's silence. like a British accent. I don't know. Uh, mm -hmm. Liais. I, I find to speak in order organization i don't know if it, if it is but i found this i will i will write you in the it could be but i'm not sure um liaids yes but i don't know Maybe the teacher later can can tell us what word is. Mm -hmm. yes. And number eight, apart from it's... that, I ensure that vehicles, machines, and any other kind of equipment are maintained to a high level. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the other part was the top one to me. <laughs> I from this I have three wrong and the other ones I I I have it I have it good but I will I will I will try to to make again right now okay I only got three good <laughs> oh, okay I I have five but I have three wrong that that I I'm not sure maybe. We can compare. Just so, um, what number you one, I got, uh -huh. I got the good, the number one. You, I have it. I have E. Is a book, a space on a ship, train, lorry, or plane? Yes. Number two, I got wrong. The number two, I have consolidate. A number of shipments under one bill of lading that that you, that you, it would be A. Yes, mm -hmm. I also have A. Mm -hmm. Number, Number three, three. Uh, uh, deal. Mm -hmm. Deal with modern computer system. No deal. I have A. H. Deal with all the necessary documentation. Deal with all the necessary documentation. Yes, right. Yes, number four is keep an eye on the budget. Mm -hmm. I have the number five wrong. Make I I I put make work to put in the warehouse, but but I I, I didn't have time, so so I I put the what is. The last one, but I, I don't know. Uh, you have it right. I no. I right, but I think that uh, the, the wrong because it's uh, I have e, B. B. Make make but, booking reservations. Yeah, but in the audio, I remember that they say other thing with make or yes. make or make that health and safety standards are maintained. No, it's me. I have it right in the... Ah, okay. Make booking. Make booking yes. reservation. Yes. Okay. Number six is use modern computer systems. Mm -hmm. Yes. And number seven and eight, I don't know. And, and number seven, I have shake where to put them in the warehouse. Mm hmm Take care that health and safety standards are maintained. Okay. I, I will check because the last two ones I have it I have it run.
All right, everybody return. The exercise is complete. Yes. Completed. All right. Let's check it out. Number one, my job is to anyone who got it right. My job, my job is to organize the transfer of goods either by sea, air, road, or trail. That's right. Okay, my job is to organize the transfer of goods either by sea, air, road, or rail. Very good. An important part of the job is dealing dealing with customer requests about the most suitable mode of transport. Right. My responsibilities also include negotiation. Negotiations, right? Actually, this was very easy, I guess. Uh -huh. Go shipping rates with shipping lines and transport companies. Number four. Hi. Sorry? Arrange custom clearance on behalf of my clients. I arrange custom clearance on behalf of my clients. Actually, this is the difficult part in logistics, right? When you have to um, deal with those customs clearances, right? Mainly when you import or export products, right? Peter, I have yes. a question. Tell me. Range custom is about what? what clearance, custom clearance, o sea, nos pago de aduana. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. But it's es, es sobre todo cuando hay imports or exports. All right, nice. The, the first speaker, the voice, very clear, right? Let's see the second one. Okay, let me just play it out. Can you hear that? No, right? No. <laughs> I know. It's okay. No problem. So, uh, number two, in my job, I have to... Make sure. Make sure that the cargo is not damaged on board the ship or while loading or unloading. Number six. I advise... I advise customers and shipping rates and prepare quotations for our sales office. Then we go with the third person. Another part of my job is to consolidate, but consolidate. this is the tough one. But it was it was right or it was wrong? No, it was wrong. I don't know what what it says. What they say. Oh, hold on. Yes. Mm -hmm. Give me a second.
VH. That's something. I think it must be a word similar to, give me a second. Yeah, the pronunciation is kind of weird on this word. Hmm. Wait a second. It sounds like the eighth. Um, um, contract. Yes, I think this is the word the eighth. The only thing that I don't find is the pronunciation. Please. Mm -hmm. Very L-E-A-S-E, -E, I guess that's the word he's using. Okay. That means higher, I guess, with the permits such as transport and production. And number eight, what did you get in number eight apart from that? The first one is book. Space on a ship, train, lorry, or plane. Uh huh. Yes, from the matching, but we still miss number ah. eight. From the person number three, no problem. True. It is apart from that. I ensure that vehicles, ensure. machines, and other kind of equipment are maintained to a high level. That's right. Apart from that, I ensure that vehicles, machines, and other kinds of equipment are maintained to a high level. Yes. Book. Uh, what was the the matching? A space on a ship, yeah. train, lorry, or plane. Book is space, right? Book is a synonym of anybody? Any idea? <laughs> For in the Spanish, book is not as a verb, it's not necessarily a book that we read, right? It's an action, okay? It, it is like agenda. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's it comes from that actually, or reservar, right? So we say, oh, book a book a, a flight or book a hotel room. So in this case, they book a space. Okay, so they kind of reserve a space on a cheap train, lorry, or plane. Consolidate number two. Number of consolidate a number of shipments under one bill of lading, lading. right? Lading. Right, so consolidate under one bill, so all the costs, right? So those under one bill deal. Yeah. 
deal with all the necessary documentation. Deal with all the necessary documentation. Actually, this one, you can easily get it because it usually deals, the action deal goes with. So deal with high prices, deal with all this paperwork, right? So deal with bad attitude. <laughs> so keep... Keep an eye on the budget. Oh, that's another one. That's that's a good one. Keep an eye. So you are paying attention to that. Actually, this is very similar to Spanish. Keep an eye on your file. Keep an eye on those people, right? Keep an eye. Keep an eye. Actually, it's kind of similar. Okay. So we say, yes, keep an eye on the budget. So be careful. Be watching the budget, right? So make. Those booking reservations, right? Uh-huh. Number six, use. Mother computer system. Mother computer system. Yeah, that's also something that the third speaker mentioned. And check. Check where to put them in the warehouse. And the last one, take care. The health and safety and stand and sorry standards are maintained. Yes, take care. You gotta be careful. The health and safety standards are maintained. All right, good, well done. Just double check something really quick. Give me a second. Um, no, wait a minute. Where was it? I think there was somewhere. All right. I just want to write it. <laughs> um, I'm going to just want to make sure this works. Okay. All right. Mm, oh, yes, true, true, true. Oh, my goodness, sorry to hear that. Jesus Christ. All right. Well, as uh, yeah, we were working yesterday on this vocabulary also. Let me see. As a refresh of the vocabulary we studied yesterday and before we work on something else. I remember that we were solving these exercises from the Yes, from the manual you have. And we practice. Yeah, we practice the seminars. So then you talk and describe an experience as a customer, right? And not necessarily, right? Well, the ideal thing would be that you fulfill the seminars in one example, but if you can't, then you just three of the seminars, right? And 
Then you discuss why they are relevant to ensure a positive experience for the customer. I think we did this yesterday, but I was telling you to refresh the vocabulary. So I'm going to just refresh this. I think we got the first one. MSL must ensure products are delivered within two days. I mean, to us, that is kind of, oh, yeah, right time, right? But if the customer can get it within two days from some other company. Uh, then I hesitate a little bit. Maybe it should be the right product. <laughs> okay, because Amazon ensures products are delivered within two days. If the customer can get it within two days from other company. So kind of weird. Let me just yeah share second. Oh my god. I think I got it from here. And these are the exercises. So I would say like the right customer, probably for the first one, I think. Mm. Okay, maybe we can discuss this also. That's how I got it. Oh, maybe you disagree with me on, on any of this ours. right product or right customer on the first one, do you think? Oh, the right time. Any disagreement? I speak now. Yo, I, I got a mm -hmm. question. Uh, right, right condition can be the same right quality. Yeah, in the conditions of the product is it's yeah it's transported. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or the conditions of transportation as well, right? Because if the product imagine is breakable or is perishable and goes in not the right conditions, definitely the product is not going to go in the right quality. It's going to get damaged, it's going to get soiled. Mm -hmm. And I agree with the choices that you choose. Because <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was kind of doubting because it says Amazon must ensure products are delivered within two days. If the customer can get it within two days from some other company. And sometimes I guess the, the explanations are kind of tricky as well. So we gotta be very careful. I have some doubt with the third one and the fourth one. The third one and because, the fourth one. Uh, because the mm -hmm. third say grocery has to meet quantity requirement for their cost. No, no, uh, for their customer and ensure that the quantity of the product is not affected by perishability. Perishability. I don't know if it's perishability is like echarse a perder, right? I know if. Yes, the factor, high, yeah, high the factor that the food exactly can die, can get ruined. Uh -huh. And the other one is like uh, referring to in the fourth one, a local ketchup manufacturer may sell ketchup to retail in package and bottles and to a bulk consumer in big trans. I don't know if it's, that is like size. So you and think size they can be the other way around? Uh -huh. 
Oh, so you but think that the grossers would be the right condition and the other one should be the right quantity? Mm -hmm. oh, because I don't know if his size is like quantity. Like, mm -hmm. Makes sense. Makes sense. I just put it like this to see what you guys have. <laughs> That's why. Okay. Good thing. Local ketchup manufacturer can oh, may sell ketchup to retailers in package and label bottles and to bulk customers in big cans. Well, because of the of the amount that you put in the packages and the bottles and the and the bulks. All right. Maybe. Yeah, the thing is that they give examples on how to apply, right? They are not they are not giving um definitions specifically. Mm -hmm. Any other? Any other disagreement? All done. All good. All right. Wait a second. Well, I have this other exercise for you to expand your vocabulary, and this is very short. So I'm pretty sure you're gonna do it. Okay, in a blank. Okay, give me a second. It also talks about retailers, customers. Um. Oh wait, wait, wait! I got it wrong. I got the wrong one. Wait. Yeah, I think I'm gonna change. Oh yeah, this is fun. So you just have to order the drawings to see the the production chain how they are produced, transported until they get to the consumer or to the customer. But you just have to put the little drawings in order. Let me know if you're able to make it. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll give you a couple of minutes so you can work on it and then we can compare.
I already do my supply chain bread, but <laughs> it was not I, correct. <laughs> no, no, there is nothing correct. Really? Yes. Oh my god. Zero out of ten. <laughs> no way. Yes. We the point is to use all the image. Uh-huh. In the right order that they have uh -huh, it. Correct. Mm -hmm. But the the last one has to be the children eating bread, right? Uh -huh, I guess that's the consumer. Yes, but mm -hmm. if I put it in the last one, you got it wrong. Yeah. Yes. Oh my god! Let me double check. Oh, it's because how to how do you put it in the in the chart? I don't know. Uh -huh. You have to put it on the line, right? Uh -huh. But mm -hmm. how okay. you place the images? If you yes. want to try again, yes. All right, no problem. <laughs> I got six out of ten. All right, getting better. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, that's good. No problem. I'm gonna I'm gonna share another one and it's very similar, so you can work on it. Let me just I 
If I share a link here, are you able to see it on the chat? Yes. Okay, let me do it then. Just. And we we just need to complete the the exercise, right? right. Yes, from the last oh. one. Okay.
You finish already? In progress? Yes. Finished? Yes. How yes. was it? Difficult? Easy? So so? 50 and 50? Not bad? Not bad. Oh my god. Good. Good. Oh good. All right. So we return to the main session so we can convert the answers, all right? Okay. All right. Okay. All right, everybody's back, right? Yes. Nice. Okay, let's see. Going to the exercise. Choose the correct answer for the statement. Logistic is concerned with. Uh huh. A, B, C, D. B. Exactly. The movement of goods from point A to point B. Which of the following is not involved in the logistics system? Empty tape. All right. A, B, C, D. Marketing, storage, loading, or transportation? Marketing. Marketing. That's right. Marketing or marketing, it's, it's okay. Don't don't get don't get me wrong. Okay, logistics aims to achieve high customer satisfaction. satisfaction. Achieve high customer satisfaction. That's right. Supply chain change. Sorry, is a network of enterprise who collaborate to make a store and deliver good goods to customers. Exactly, a network of enterprises who collaborate to make a store and deliver goods to customers. And which of the following is a part of the supply chain? Mm -hmm. Producers, manufacturers, wholesalers, retailers, and customers. That's right. And the next one was easy because you only choose, right? <laughs> the, flow, the flow of goods from producers to customers is known as? Forward flow. Forward flow. flow. Exactly. The number seven deals with moving goods from the point of the consumption back to the producer. That is? Reverse. Reverse flow. Okay. And drive the activities involved in supply chain operations to the sentences below to complete it. And natural, of natural resources. What do you put there? Of Transformation resources. of natural resources. And a storage of raw material. Movement. Movement. And a storage of raw material. Of raw materials and component into finished goods. Processing. Processing, that's right. Of work in progress and finished goods. Storage. Storage. And the finished products from point of origin to points of destination. Delivery. 
delivery. Okay, next, where a single carrier organizes the transportation from the point of origin to, to the destination. Multimodal. Multimodal. And where multiple carriers organizes the transportation from the point of origin to the destination. Intermodal. Intermodal. Yes, but in when we say multi, we I understand like one to many, but uh -huh. here it's the other way around. Uh -huh. It's mm. weird. Maybe the setting of the page <laughs> because yeah, single to me sounds like inter, uh huh, and multi, multiple. Where multiple carriers are getting yes, probably this word not well set. What totally agree. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So you got them all right? Or just the last two were inverted? All right, double check, double, double, double check, please. Okay, well, just because, just because, yeah, we've been, you know, trying to improve and expand the vocabulary related to logistic and production chain because that's pretty related to what logicians do right and what logistic is about of course there are not many samples and exercises on this manual practically it's just a guide and that's why we have tried to expand the vocabulary right with it up to this yesterday and today it was kind of a review of the vocabulary hopefully this can help you with the exercises on the platform but if you still have questions regarding the vocabulary on the platform or the exercises you please can get screenshots and perfectly post them on your whatsapp group so that the technicians can check the exercises how they've been solved all right, for tomorrow, yeah, we uh, kind of get into this vocabulary already. Match this term related to logistics and their meanings. We got logistics, supplies, procurements, procurements, or procedure, yeah, procurements, distribution, maintenance, inventory management, and supply chain. All right, this is something also we're going to be studying on tomorrow's class. So try to get familiar with the concept, with the vocabulary. We're also going to be talking about inbound logistic and outbound logistic. So that also has to be with forward and reverse flows, right? So also try to read a little bit. Um, oh, I was gonna show you probably. Give me one sec. I was gonna show you the page I was telling you about. Um, I guess yes. This is. Give me one second. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna put the link here in the chat so that you can check out the page of Crowley the multinational in charge of logistics, as I mentioned, they have lots of information related to the work they do and the videos and the information is presented in a very attractive way. So you might get interested in knowing about 
the word they do. Oh, probably you want to apply for a job there. Actually, they do have that job in working environment that most of the time we look for. Have you checked the link? Yes. Check it out. You you won't regret. Yes, and they do have a lot of information: ocean shipping, land transportation, managed transportation, vehicle shipping, warehousing, cargo insurances. So they practically give a big explanation. They, yeah, they also say the um, many companies trust their logistic. To them right so they say uh when it comes to logistics many companies can offer solutions for one small piece of the supply chain but very few are positioning it to handle it in the entirely however probably has been repeatedly recognized for the benefits we provide customers including single source full cycle supply change management solution linking central america mexico puerto rico and the caribbean and the u.s Especially now that most of the Central American and Caribbean countries have this, um, you know, free commerce with the United States, right? So I would recommend you to read a little bit and get informed. And if you sometimes get the courage to apply for a job, why not? Probably has very, very good job positions that you might find really interesting in the future as you progress obviously in English because they do require a good level of English but some of you already are already on the path okay let me have the last attendance please let's see let's see let's see oh my goodness I'm going to start from the bottom to the top. Carlo Ernesto. Oh, Carlo Alberto, I'm sorry, Castro. Not here. Waldir. Vidal. Victor. Present. Ronald. Present. Robert. Esau. Mario. Marilyn. Manuel. Present. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my God. I never felt like this in any class in my whole life that you guys are just listening. I just talked to Fernando the whole two hours. Unbelievable. True. One day I will go. On. <laughs> yeah, practically we can have the class, you know, one on one in person, and nothing will happen. I will just leave a recording. Magdiel, oh, Magdiel also practices. Hello, teacher. Sorry. It's all right. <laughs> Luis Miguel. Present teacher. I am sorry for that. I just come into my home right now. Oh my God. I can't believe it. Yeah, you guys should ask for permission to leave your work at 5 p.m. So at 6, you already have dinner and you're ready at 8. Luis Javier, <laughs> I know I'm asking for too much. <laughs> yeah, I know. Carla, Julissa, Juan Antonio, Hazel, Francisco, Fernando, Emerson, Elizabeth, Atilio, Abigail. Yes, Oh, yeah. That was a record. I hey. think it was for yes. 18 hours, right? Yeah, 18 hours working at the same place. No, around the Western Sun. Oh, you've been moving around. Yes. Now working so, for 18 hours, isn't that against the law? Oh, if because we are out the, the, the same road in really? this month. Around two thousand clients. No way. But that's against the law. Yeah, I'll you too. <laughs> because working hour conditions shouldn't exceed more than eight hours. Yeah. 
Actually, I spent 12 hours, but I would say I spent two hours moving from home to work and from work to home. So I discount two hours, so that's 10 hours. But they say that we work that schedule because we don't work on Saturday. I went to my job uh, for 4 a.m., I think. For real? Yes. Jesus, listen. You better sing. <laughs> you better shift into a singer career instead <laughs> because you already got the name <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry this weird. I just wanted to make you laugh I know it's not funny you you go to work at 4 a.m. and you come back at 9 or 10 p.m. yes because in, in the government is O sea, está construyendo una carretera y hay mucho tráfico. Oh, really? Where is this road being constructed in Aguachapán? Tacacoyo. Oh, really? Atilio, too, suffering. <laughs> Ay, no, poor children. Aguachapán, sí. Um... Sí, sí. I know. Yes, what a pity, what a pity. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I wish the conditions were different for you guys, definitely. But if not possible, well, let's be resilient. Oh my God. Well, I bet no one is available for one-on-one, -on -one. okay? Out of a question, right? Have a good night. Hope to see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Bye.